Now at 6, the fight over control of the U.S. Senate may come down to Florida. And tonight, that fight is even more intense as Marco Rubio enters the race to keep his seat. But first, a CBS 4 News investigation into Rubio's likely Democratic opponent, South Florida Congressman Patrick Murphy. The 33-year-old Murphy has the backing of the president and vice president, the son of one of the wealthiest construction builders in the state. Many say if it wasn't for his father bankrolling his campaign, he would have made it this far. Tonight, we dig deeper into the Patrick Murphy, who claims he has the experience and knowledge to be Florida's next U.S. senator. And what we found was concerning. Here's CBS4 investigator Jim DeFiti. Congressman-elect Patrick Murphy. Thank you. In his two runs for Congress and his current campaign for the United States Senate, Democrat Patrick Murphy has repeatedly pointed to his experience as a certified public accountant and a small business owner as reasons why voters should support him. Here he is in 2012. I believe that my background as a CPA and small business owner is exactly what we need to put our country back on track. And in 2014. I would say my background as a CPA, also being a small business owner. And again last year after he started campaigning for the Senate. I think I bring that experience to the table. A CBS4 News investigation into Murphy's history as both a CPA and self-described small business owner shows Murphy has in some cases exaggerated his experience and in other instances made claims that were misleading or outright false. Murphy has never been a licensed CPA in Florida. Instead, he obtained his license in Colorado, even though he's never lived or worked there. He sought the Colorado license solely because the requirements there to become a CPA are lower. I'm Patrick Murphy. I'm a certified public accountant. Records show Murphy took the licensing exam nine times before passing the four sections. I know what you're thinking. Accounting. Boring, right? And although he worked at a Miami accounting firm, his Colorado CPA license was never valid in Florida. I got my CPA license, and I spent years going to numerous Fortune 500 companies looking for inefficiencies, waste, and fraud. Documents obtained by CBS4 News reveal his actual title with Deloitte & Touche was audit assistant, and experts in the accounting industry suspect Murphy either exaggerated or inflated the work he performed. Perhaps the most serious questions, however, center on his time as a small business owner. And to get the full picture, we came here to the southern shores of Louisiana because this is where Patrick Murphy claimed to make his mark as a businessman in 2010. The explosion aboard the Deepwater Horizon oil platform on April 20th, 2010, left 11 men dead. More than 200 million gallons of crude oil poured up from the bottom of the Gulf of Mexico. This was a real opportunity to say, wow, let, you know, I'll be the guy to get the oil skimmers ready, protect our shores. I was ready to, to move on and start my own business anyway. So this was a great opportunity to not only protect Florida, but do my own thing. After two and a half years at Deloitte and Touche, Murphy resigned and a few months later started Coastal Environmental Services. So how many contracts did you end up getting? Uh, several. I, I, it's been you know how much, five years. I mean, how much did you make during that period of time? We did okay. Yeah, we it, did okay. <laughs> well, I'm just curious because, you know, I'm just curious as to how many contracts there were or what the nature of the contracts were. Be happy to get you those documents. It's been five years, though, so we, we, did, we did well. Although Murphy said he would be happy to turn over those documents during our interview in September, what followed were weeks and months of negotiations with his campaign staff. As a private company, Murphy was under no obligation to release anything. Ultimately, the campaign allowed CBS4 News to review copies of the contracts, but only if we agreed not to name the companies who hired them or the dollar amounts of the contracts. First, it is now clear Murphy was not a small business owner. Coastal Environmental was controlled and financed by Murphy's father's company, Coastal Construction. But perhaps most important, neither Patrick Murphy nor Coastal Environmental Services were awarded a single contract to clean up oil in the Gulf. So how many contracts did you end up getting? Uh, several. But rather than build a business from scratch, Murphy, with his father's help, bought a business that was already doing work here in the Gulf of Mexico. On August 9th, Coastal Environmental bought New Orleans-based Crescent SR, which had two contracts for oil cleanup. Unfortunately for Murphy, not long after he took control of the oil skimming business, the Coast Guard called off those operations. Murphy was left with four oil skimmers and no work. Coastal still owns the boats, but in nearly six years, the vessels have not generated a penny of revenue. 
So an obvious question is, where are these vessels? Well, we found them here in a suburb of New Orleans. Here are two of the vessels. And then the third one, located right over here. Murphy and his campaign said Coastal turned a modest profit and would provide financial records to prove it. The one document I would provide is not a financial statement. Jesse Singer is a CPA certified in financial forensics, hired by you know, CBS 4 News like to review problem. the records. It doesn't really give you any um, picture of the financial health or operations of the company. Patrick Murphy and Coastal Environmental Services are now paying so much money to store these boats here in this backyard that whatever profits they made in the Gulf have long since disappeared and the company is now losing money every month. Once the Coast Guard called off oil skimming operations in October 2010, Coastal Environmental was out of work. Murphy returned to South Florida and started his next project, running for a seat in the U.S. House of Representatives. Reporting from St. Bernard Parish in Louisiana, I'm Jim DeFiti, CBS 4 News. Now, tomorrow night in part two of our investigation, Patrick Murphy has made impressive claims about his oil skimming business, but how do they hold up? We're going to show you what we found out and more on our in-depth coverage on CBSMiami.com.